when we're using our LPJs, which is ladders, planks, and jacks, we always try to dig these bottoms in where the bottom can't slip out. And then get it up as far on your board. And if you look where the ladder's set to, it's set right here in the zone where they overlap. And that's so you don't crush the board. Because that's the only downside to Hardy is if there's a void behind it and something slams it, it's going to break through. Other than that, it's great, right? So you aim for your ladder right here where they overlap. That way you're not hitting that void right there and then crushing your board, right? And then you got to do replacements. Uh, we bust out the rope, about to harness up. Uh, we're not crazy far off the ground, but far enough to where if you fell, you'd, you'd get hurt. Uh, especially on this hard packed dirt uh, with debris on the ground. All bumped in and everything. Um, on this end, which is the high end, I made sure that when we lean this ladder, it's leaned into the corner right there. So no matter what, it can't slip that way, right? So um, we don't want any of this plank to slip off here, which is the tall side, right? And even on this other side over here, we made sure that it was at least close. Like there's no way that this ladder could tilt more than say six inches or so right there right this way to the low side um if something did happen though and we fell then we would want to fall to the low side and not the high side so that's my theory with that and then where we ran the two planks together right there we put a strap up there is what we did we put a 500 pound uh, capacity ratchet strap to hold those together down to the ladder so now they're more situated they can't shake back and forth and pop off or jump off of each other for whatever reason right um, so that's our general setup for ladders planks and jacks uh, i showed you in another video a little bit about some pump poles it's kind of situational if the ground was any more crazy than it is right now then we would have used the pump poles because they're easier to use on uneven ground this isn't too horrible and it's only one stage of setup um so it's not that big of a deal so that's why we chose to do it like this on this one there is a back gable out here that's going to be hard to set up on so that one that one we're probably going to have to do our pump holes back here to get up there we'll probably have to do our pump holes um or maybe i'll do one maybe i'll spin this and that'll be this corner and then we can because it's wider than one plank anyways so then we could like do a pump hole and then a pump hole and that'll get that up there right because it, again it's wider than even our widest plank is 24 feet and it's wider than that so that's how we're thinking about setup and then that'll be the last hardest area to reach and above that, it's going to be the most tedious last area. And then all of the rest of this is easy because it's reachable. Anyways, you guys have a good day.